Well, hello there, I'm Ranger Cookie. Today is Tuesday, Canteen Cook Day. And I'm gonna use a Swiss canteen to cook my meal today. Let's get cooking. Well, it's Canteen Cook Day. And I'm gonna show you my new uh, little cook kit, kit. I go out and start to go to do canteen cookouts with this little set. Well, let me show you what it's all about. First, we have the Dolly Polanini Stanley cat that I got from Donnie. Thank you. I want to show you what this set is all about. It comes with a little spoon, a cup to eat out of. This little spot you can put. Come down. Look at me. You're not looking. All right, this little thing right here comes with, you can put your sugar, cream, look down, look at me. <laughs> and you open it up and you can put hot water in this thing. Right now I just got some cold water to cook with. You got this little lid and it pops out and you take this out and you cook your food in here. Or you can boil your water and put it in your container and it should last for five or six hours. So it comes with a spoon, a little cup to eat out of. It's basically a coffee dean, I call it. But today we're gonna to cook in the Swiss Canteen Cook Kit. Let's take a look at it. It has this little cuppity thing. Inside it has another little cup. You probably can eat out of any one of these little dishes. And this is where you cook your meal at. That's what we're going to be doing today. I got this little platter. Right, this little thing right here is going to get it off this wood, wooden table. So it won't burn the table. Alright, what else is in this bag, Ranger Cookie? Well, let's get this stuff out the way. Alright. Each side of these little bags is alcohol. There's two in each side. One, two, three, four. There's four in this one. And here I have a hammock. A little fire uh, wind blocker for my Starno stove. So we're going to cook right here like that. Hope the wind don't blow. Then, and here, I have cocoa, some sweet bread, and some army issue stuff. This is like little sweet tart, uh, sweets. After I eat my meal, I can have a little sweet. Over here again, I have two alcohols. On the other side, I have two more alcohols. And on this side, I have my food that I'm going to bring out to eat that day. We got some shimrash teriyaki, teriyaki noodles. But we're not eating that. We're going to eat the chicken broccoli today with uh, 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 with the beef steak chopped and farm grilled with mushroom gravy. Mmm, that's going to sound. Sounds good to me, but not to you. And some other food packages and some more MREs. And today we're going to have a little bit of uh, spice, spice cider, and some apple cider. We're going to mix it up. We're going to have some, we're going to have a good meal today. And over here, this is my water bottle. So let's get cooking, Cookie. You know what? All this stuff and no lighter. Ain't that something? Be back. See you in a few seconds. I'm back. I decided to add a lighter to the kit and a small knife. This is a little goober knife. It's just a knife. I don't believe it's any better than any other knife. It's just a knife. All right, I added a pair of uh, a knife and a lighter to this kit. Let's get cooking now. All right, to start your sterno, you gotta take the cap off. Look down, look at what I'm doing. 
not that far. Come on, look, look, look at me. This, there you go. There you go, right there. All right. Child proof, I mean adult proof. Remember, when you put this back on, make sure it is cold. All right, we've got a heat, we're gonna put that on. We got a little flame blocker. Calm its flames down. All right, we need uh, the food. Let's get cooking. I wonder if that's gonna work. It might put the fire out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's, well, let's get the water going. We need uh, two cups of water. I was ready to say, I don't got a spoon. I, I got one right here. <laughs> Came with the Donnie Paulini dingity thing. Let's light this up. It takes a few minutes for Sterno to get up, but he sure get up. All right, get my gravy package ready. Cook that too. What I'm going to do instead of doing what Barry does for here's you put it in a pot of water. I just go pop my eyes in the hot stew, and I'm gonna eat it all up. I'm gonna gobble it up. That's what the good this good knife is for to cut these damn things. I'm gonna wait to cook. Now we need uh, two cups of water. This thing don't have a measurement. That's all right. This bottle has a measurement on the back. If I'm not mistaken, I'm supposed to add 20 ounces. Oh, oh that's too much water. 16 ounces should be two cups of water. I'm not sure. I'm not a magician. Eee. Nah, I might add some, some, uh, some of these things in there, inside of it. It's not leaking. I just got this thing. <laughs> Alright, let's get some apple cider going. We got some ice, some uh, uh, apple, uh, spice apple for our drink. Bear, I don't know why you don't drink your cider drink things. Send them to me, I drink them, put them in a big old box and send them to me. P.O. Box 1712, Lacombe, Louisiana, zip code 70445. Highway 190. That's if you don't drink them, Bear. I love you, Bear. I love Bear, he's a good bear. All right, that's where that knife comes in handy, huh? I'm glad this knife is dull. I can. I won't cut myself. I'm supposed to use hot water. So, Mr. Bear, I know you watch my videos. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Bear. But if you go eat and drink your cider, your or your sweet tea things from your MREs, you can send them to me. I noticed this one works better than my other alcohol burner. You should see the waves of the flame in there. It's kind of cool. Remember, one apple core kills a bear. Is this thing really running? That's hot! Wolverine, Wolverine, Wolverine! Damn you, boy! Burn yourself like that! Oh, 
I'm here with not my eyes. You know, you can wash your eyes with a little water and run the water. There you go, look at it. Still fresh, good ice. Yes, indeed. All right, looks like this fire is getting hot enough. I go ahead and put my flat, uh, my, 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 uh, my din din up. It's still burning. I hope it don't go out. Cause I have to restart everything. Now it might help if we put the cap on, huh? Yeah. Or maybe it's supposed to be this cap. I guess this is the lid to make the fire make it hotter. There you go, my Swiss canteen cooking day. I hope you enjoy. Well, while my food's over there trying to cook, I'm going to swing in the hammock. Come over here. What are you doing? Get back in there. Where are you, where are you going? There you, there you go. I need a better camera system. These growth pros really kind of suck if when they lose their back parts. There you go. So the reason why I put this hammock in here, I don't think I have enough strength. See, that's another thing, folks. Always check your gear. Make sure your gear is all there. All right, there you go. Where my food is cooking, I'm taking a break. I don't know if we'll make it between these two trees. <laughs> it won't fit. See, I'm glad I went through this gear to make sure I have what I need. Remember, folks, always test your gear before you really go out in the middle of the woods. You're too far from home or your car or your vehicle and you find out you left something or you don't have the proper gear so always check your gear before you really go out there to test see I'm missing some rope for this thing if I had some rope long enough it would work between those two trees so always and never folks check your gear test your gear before you go deep in the woods because like I said you might be missing a part it's like the ranger, he thought he's going to go walk in the woods with all that gear and find out he's missing some parts. So he stayed around his vehicle like he's, he did well. You'll see a couple of his videos pretty soon. But that tells me what I need for this little system. I need longer rope, 550 cord. Let's go back to cooking. So let's go cooking. That flame is high now. Look at that flame. So it's a good thing that I didn't went too far with this little kit, even though it's just a canteen cooking thing. I had to get a knife and a lighter. So I had to add those two things to my kit here because they sure needed it. All right, let's put some of this stuff back. We don't need all this stuff out, so we're gonna put all out, most of it back. I have to go throw this in the trash because I'm at Fountain Blue State Park. I don't know if y'all noticed, but Fountain Blue State Park is the place I usually go to do small cooking videos, my give and take videos. If you don't know what that is, go check them out. Give and take it means I go sit somewhere with all my gear and go through all my gear and find out what I want and what I don't want in my gear. So I take something out, I might add something during winter or summer. So that's my give and take video. Okay, we, we can't. And make sure you put this thing in cold, not hot, because <laughs> you're burning your bag. The other day, I was, uh, the ranger was cooking. He almost burnt himself bad. You need to stir your stew up sometimes. Ooh, chopped liver gravy. This is gonna be the best meal ever for a weird guy like me. I was put a lid back on. We gotta cook it. 
One thing I hate about alcohol burners is they leave that, that soot, that, that, like a yellow soot. And another thing I need to add to this kit is a pair of gloves so I can grab and handle these hot items. A good pair of gloves, not the pair of gloves that Ranger had. It went right through his gloves. Felt sorry for him. This is the Swiss Canteen. They cook big meals over there. Look how big this thing is. Watch out, bear. You might have a hundred year old canteen. I, I got a squish, a squish canteen. <laughs> Now this thing, this Stanley water kit thing, I would not use, put hot food in this thing. I would not. The reason why food spoils when you put it in a container like this, and it spoils. I would not recommend putting any hot food in any container. It spoils. Just like crab. When you finish boiling your crab, do you put it straight in the ice box or you let them cool off before you put them in the ice box? Because if you put them in the ice box, it spoils. So don't do that to yourself. Don't destroy all your crabs that you just paid for or just caught by putting them in the ice box after you finish boiling them. You gotta let them sit out and let them cool down. I learned a lot of stuff in cooking. I don't know how to cook either, so. You see what kind of food I cook. I cook the weird stuff. I know one thing. I don't think I ever go burn my hands on this one versus the canteen, the American canteen. Because the handle's right here in the flames. The handle on the Swiss is on top. That's my opinion. My opinions did not matter. Never that. I guess this is my drinking cup. Can't wave everything. And there's the wrong way, and there's the cookie way. The cookie way. That, that's perfect. Look at that. The handle holds this handle so it won't get burned down below. This, I guess this is your cup or your cooking. I don't know. Usually I have long videos over here. But I talk all through the video. I always stop talking because I give you hints and stuff what you should do you should not do. All right. It's getting there. Ah, it burns, it burns me, mama. So I'm gonna cook the, the noodles until all the water's gone. Then I'm gonna throw my beef stew with mushroom gravy in it and let it cool down and gobble it up with some cheese crackers. Oh, yes. Eber. I care for their products. I heard it was crap, but everybody say it's good stuff. I don't know. I never used goober. This is a goober knife. Goober. Goober. <laughs> Always check your gear before you go out in the middle of the woods and find out the missing parts. I can use two 550 cord with this hammock. That way I can sit over there and enjoy a swing while waiting for my food to cook. Or I could be out in the middle of nowhere and I can use it as a bush chair. Like I said, when I go out into the bush, I don't cook stuff you can find on the market. Boil it, cook it, eat it. The only time I might cook a bushcraft, big bushcraft meal if I have like five or six people and we all brought some type of food out there. Like hamburger, bell pepper, and onion, all the hamburger meat all mixed with some egg, mix the uh, breadcrumbs with it too, then make patties, then we throw it on the fire. That's the good way. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh. I said, bear, if you don't drink your apple cider, you can send them to me. Put them in a box. P.O. Box 1712, Lacole, Louisiana, zip code 70445. Highway 190. You don't even have to put the intern dress on it. You just send it to me. I take anybody's apple cider from their MREs. I love these things. Spice app, uh, cider, and keep stirring it when it gets around the end. But you have a, a burnt, burnt mess at the bottom. And it starts to boil all that water out. So I wonder if I can move this. Damn, the handle is real cold. It's not burning my hand. Uh, I burnt my hand. Almost burnt my hand on the other, the Army Swiss. I mean, the Army, U.S. Army canteen thing. And this, I'm loving this thing. Don't you go out. Don't go out. 
I burnt the hell out my hand uh, using the R uh, U.S. Army Swiss uh, stove. I'm beginning to like this Swiss better than the U.S. because the handle's right here, tire. I could dump that slush anywhere. Probably eat around the pot. pot. I'm gonna probably pour some in here and see if I can eat out. So that's what you're supposed to eat out of. I don't think I would eat out of this part because the of this. I might spill my food. I don't know. What do you think? Splash like a pig. <laughs> Only fun if I force it, but it's not going nowhere. There you go. I want you out of this when it's done. And I can just keep this heated up. This is a cool little gift. I, I like this little thing. It's part of my new kit. Thank you, Tiny Pilot Lady. If Tiny Pilot Lady is outdoors, look at that. Uh, this Swiss is a, only a temporary. I'm going to find out which one I like out of the canteens. And I think I like the Swiss so far. And it's big. I thought that paint would chip off for all that fire, but it looks like it can handle the, the heat. Everybody cooks their rice and, and stuff different. I might cook it to it's really, really low. It has like a creamy sauce to it. So what y'all think about the Swiss versus the U U.S. Army canteen? Somebody's killing that poor man over there. You hear him screaming? <laughs> yeah, I found this old can from coffee. It was perfect. So I'll cut it just enough for my my stainless stove can fit in there where it won't be right on top and heat my food. If I'm not mistaken, I think you're supposed to put it right on top of your stainless and it goes around it. But I need a little wind blocker because all we had some we got some wind out here. Hey, let's take a look at the park while we at. Let's go. We at the state Louisiana Fountain Blue State Park on Highway 190. I just want to show you that beautiful view. All these pretty trees out here. Look how pretty these trees are. They got some great oaks out here. Older than your grandma. Older, older than your grandma. Grandma's grandma. <laughs> Let's take a look around. I hate when they changed that. It used to have a fire pit in there, but now it's like they destroyed the old ways this place used to look. Kind of hate it now, but it's still kind of good. Take a look at all these old trees. It looks like they've been planted in line. Yep, my fire's still going over there. We good, we doing good. They got some soccer players. They got a team here, usually have a team over here. Over here. And Lake Punch Trains right over there. So when I do a long video, I try to talk through the whole video so you won't get bored. Damn you boy, don't beat me. Our restroom's right there, another restroom over there. Uh, camping facilities over there. Pilgrim and uh, uh, campers. It's very small and one rain, if you're in a, 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 a tent, you, you, you drown. You will drown out here. All right, let's go back to the cooking show. Find out what our stew's doing. Oh yeah, it's boiling now. It's getting to the bottom. 
creamy enough or is really low. So what I'm going to do now is get my last ingredient and let it cook for a few seconds, then turn it off. That way it heat up this gravy. Be from dying from toenail toenail poison. Dying from toenail poison is horrible death, man. Horrible death. Yeah, I should have not ate that piece of. I'm gonna die now. Toenail poison. Toenail poison's a horrible way of dying. Oh, oh, oh love me. That up. Let it boil again. Down and gobble go it up. Look. Take a look, Jamie boy. Look at that. Yep, I'm just let that heat up, and boil a bit. Some ingredients, and we'll throw in. All right, that's it. Let's fill the flame. Oh no, no! Was he? I hope you enjoy Canteen Tuesday. See you next video. Well, I hope you enjoy the Swiss uh, Canteen Cook Canteen Day. All right, don't forget the Biscotti Master Bowl for your sins. All right, I'll see you next video. So long.